Hey everyone, I am the Thunder Rubble Jance, and this is Prime News. So, Prime News is a weekly news recap show. For those who haven't seen it, we recap all of the latest Nintendo news or Nintendo related news from the past week. And boy, do we have some doozies for you, or not. I, uh, I guess I'll let uh, you be the, uh, the, the judge. So the first story we have for you is that Final Fantasy X and X2, as well as Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, have release dates. This was announced via Nintendo's official Twitter account, and the you know, Final Fantasy X and X2 have a release date of April 16th, whereas Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, has a release date of, well, I don't know, April 30th, right? Sure, April 30th, we're going to go with that. So that's pretty interesting. I uh, personally think it's kind of a big deal, but not really. I mean, if we don't get like the full Final Fantasy 15, not just the pocket edition, if we don't get Final Fantasy 16, does any of this really matter? I mean, I guess it's already a better classic selection of games than uh, the Nintendo Switch Online service. <laughs> The Nintendo Switch has surpassed 7 million units in Japan and 2.5 million units of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as of last week. This is a really, really good numbers. It is about 700,000 short of surpassing the PlayStation 4. And Smash just continues to smash sales records. So, uh, I mean, I guess keep smashing, keep buying Switches. And uh, I just really suck at Smash Bros. Uh, I'm just being honest. I literally lost to my five-year-old, and earlier today, my three-year-old almost beat me. So, uh, I'm not saying I'm the worst Smash Bros. player in the world, but uh, I think I'm in the running. GameStop finds itself in a bidding war with Sycamore Partners and Apollo Global Management to actually buy out GameStop. Now, this is interesting since GameStop has basically over the last five years done one of these, although while it's stabilized a little bit, it's still on the decline. It was up, you know, like 5% in the stock market this month, but I mean, that really doesn't mean much when you've already globally dipped like 65% over the past five years. Still, uh, it's really interesting to think about the fact that there's actually two companies out there that are bidding for GameStop and competing against each other for a dying business. Now we talked in the video I did about this, about how they might be trying to get into esports and trying to do what game in the UK did to save their business. So it's entirely possible that they see a path forward with that. Maybe they just want to buy the GameStops and then liquidate all the assets. We don't really know what's going to happen. At this point, all I know is that GameStop locally for me has been pushing things a lot less because you know, GameStop usually is pushing the pre-orders, they're usually pushing the used game sales, and they haven't been doing any of that to me really the past week. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, things are changing at GameStop. I I don't even have a joke for this bit. I just, it, people actually want to buy GameStop. I guess, the, is, is that the joke? I, Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn got a release date of March 8th. That is a 3DS game because Nintendo's still releasing 3DS games or ports of games for 3DS. I mean, we got Luigi's Mansion late last year. We have Mario Plus, Bowser's Inside Story, blah, 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 so with some additional content. That's a port. We have Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. That's a port. Why? 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 Just let it die, let it die. Let it shrivel up. And oh, 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 copyright claim. Copyright claim. This week, Nintendo has finally announced their new games for the Nintendo Switch online service NES lineup, those being Master Blaster and Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, releasing on January 16th. I'm actually pretty excited about these. I think they're really good games that I'm just not going to play because I've already played them a zillion times in the past, pretty much like the rest of the games on the Nintendo Switch online service. I find myself not really caring, but for those of you that do care, that do want to play, I mean, there you go. The NES stuff works, so, I mean, I guess Nintendo got one thing right with the online service. It, it, the, the NES games work. Now, if only Smash Online did too. <laughs> Nintendo decided this week to drop the release date for Yoshi's Crafted World through a story trailer, an adorable story trailer, by the way. 
Yoshi has been super, super cute over the years, and it only seems to be getting cuter with every new game. I know I'm overusing the word cute. I can't help it. You're just here for the release date. It's March 29th. Uh, pretty exciting. No Nintendo Labo Kit announced with it yet or anything, even though it's a card, a, a game based around cardboard, but I, I don't... It looks good. Um, Kirby Star Allies, take notes, because I think Yoshi is about to eat you for lunch. But then Kirby eats... I... They both eat. Do you notice that about these two? Like, they both eat things. What would happen if, like, Kirby and Yoshi did eat each other at the same time? I've tried it in Smash. It doesn't work. Would, like, the world explode? These are the thoughts that cross my head in the middle of the night when I can't sleep. I'm sorry. Dragon's Dogma, a critically acclaimed Western-styled RPG, is coming to Switch, and it's probably the biggest thing announced this past week. It is releasing on April 23rd. Now, that's exciting and everything. What's not exciting is I can't actually show you it because my video was copyright claimed. I mean, you can go down to the description and go watch that copyright claim video if you want, but I don't want this video to be copyright claimed. So, Crapcom. Still at your old tricks, aren't ya? Devolver Digital this week complained about the fact that they had a trailer for Gris that they were trying to upload. I, by the way, let me just stop for a second. I realize it's, I don't think it's pronounced Gris. I don't care. I'm American. G-R-I-S. Gris. Anyways, uh, they had their trailer blocked on Facebook and they said they actually appealed the block twice and were told both times, including in the original block, that it is going to be blocked because this image here is sexually suggestive. So, uh... Oh, yeah. Another week has gone by, and there is still no Nintendo Direct here in January. This is kind of sort of a big deal. Not necessarily yet. There's still plenty of time left in the month. Could be next week. Could be the week after. Could not be at all till February. Who knows? But, Nintendo... The reason I say that is because some leaks, including one we reported on, uh, pointed to, to January 10th. And uh, January 10th is now behind us, and we still don't have a Nintendo Direct. But we know when Yoshi's Crafted World is coming, we know about Dragon's Dogma, we know about when Final Fantasy games are coming. Did, did we get a Direct? <laughs> is that a question I have to ask? Did we get a Direct? No. I mean, reality is, a Direct is probably still in the works either for this month, next month, or the month after. They usually have one in the first three months. It's usually January, not always January. Sometimes February, sometimes March, sometimes January and March. Um, all I know is that Nintendo likes to march to the beat of their own drum as if they had a proverbial drum that they don't really have because I, I, I'm, I'm, I literally can't think of anything else to, to, to make this bit funny. So, yeah, direct leaks. Don't believe them. We'll still talk about them, but don't believe them. Hey, congratulations! If you made it this far, you are hearing our final story from the week. Uh, it's also a controversial story and one that people really got mad at me about for uh, reasons. The reason being that I reported that Nintendo might leave the console business. Now, despite the fact that this is like the wording that Furukawa used, reality is Nintendo is probably not leaving the console business anytime soon and that Nintendo has been prepared for the possibility of not making video game consoles or making video games in general for years and years and years. After all, as Furukawa said himself, Nintendo wasn't always a video game company, even though they currently are, which is a bigger admittance than Satoru Iwata used to give Nintendo when he called them an entertainment company or a toy company, as it were. That being said, they're basically just saying, look, if we ever get to the point where we have multiple failed systems in a row, and things are going downhill, and we're losing billions of dollars, obviously we have to shift markets. So, I mean, it's common sense. Nintendo's not going anywhere unless they have to. And no, they're not Sega. Sega was about to go bankrupt and out of business when they left the console industry. Nintendo has billions in the bank. They will leave the console industry before it ever gets to the point of Sega. So... To think they're going to stop making systems because, oh my gosh, they're going to go out of business. Please, sir, may I have your time to talk to you about the Nintendo Switch? And that's going to do it for this week's Prime News. I hope you learned something. I don't know what that is. Maybe that I'm a lot of cringe, that I'm not funny. I don't know. I don't know if I should even care. 
but whatever. Enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate bundle giveaway thing through the Gleam. I'll link in the description because it's free. And I mean, you can just unsubscribe after it's given away. I don't, I don't want you to. I want you to stick around, hoping you're enjoying this content. I mean, I'm enjoying making this content. But do you enjoy this content? And I know I'm probably blurry because I suck with cameras. Whatever. Bye.